Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for December 2017. This may not resonate with you, okay? This is not a private reading. This is a reading for hundreds and thousands of different people, all right? So I just want to let you know that it may not be for you, all right? I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment, all right? This is for the sign of Gemini. I am going to zoom it in correctly once I get the cards laid out. This is for the month of December 2017. I have to keep my name in there because People, people like to take people's videos, and I don't go for that. apologize for my coughing. I just lit an incense and it seems to be affecting me in a very big way. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking about moving it, but I'm going to see what we can do. The basis of your reading is the death card. Okay. The death card is not a physical death. Okay. Boy, that looks really good, doesn't it? I'm going to leave it. The death card is, it's a time of transformation, okay, it's a time of renewal, but I have to tell you that when something ends, it usually doesn't end pretty quickly, you know what I mean, it takes time for this to happen, it takes time for this renewal to um, come into play, you know what I mean, for you to go through your transformation, there's a process, alright, so that is the basis of your reading, I feel like many of you are starting a new journey but I feel like for most of you you're still at the beginning of it if it hasn't started yet it could be starting this month but this is the end of 2017 this card could signify that this the, the next year you need to look at it as a brand new beginning okay the death card is the basis of your reading because it's time to look at the new all right it's time to release the past to shed the old so that the new can begin it's a time of growth it's a time of renewal all right I feel like many of you may be reminiscing about the past okay and I, it may be you're even thinking about you know how you felt love in the past maybe you have are feeling like you haven't felt love in a while and you're thinking about the love that you had in the past you know the real loving feeling that you had in the past that doesn't mean that you're thinking about a past lover you're thinking about the feelings of love that you had in the past and you want that back it looks like many of you want the balance you want the harmony Okay, I feel like some of you have been feeling dead inside. Okay, you're ready for this new chapter. You're ready for this transformation. I think that you've been dreaming about the changes. You've been dreaming about true love. Okay, I feel like um, you've ha you're feeling insecure. You have felt insecure. You've been thinking or wanting communication from somebody. Perhaps you haven't been receiving it. And you've really been hurting because you haven't received the communication that you've wanted. All right. I do have to tell you guys that there is some completions here and they're big ones. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, and the World card. That's major completions, all three of them. Okay. This tells me that a cycle in your life is over. And you can, you can chalk it up to the year of 2017. Okay. It's over. It's over okay look at it from a new perspective look at it as a new beginning I feel like that's what you need to do because I feel like these insecurities that you're having 
they're unwarranted. I think you have unwarranted insecurities. Um, I feel like um, you're confused. There's definitely some confusion as to what to choose. Maybe you have a choice between two people, you know, two or two paths. Which which way do you go? And I feel like, you know, for some of you, there's a third party situation and you have to make a choice and you don't know what to do. One of them is more practical and one of them is more passionate. What do you do? Okay. And I feel like you, you have a new door that's opening, but I think that new door is opening at the end of December towards, towards the beginning of January. I think you are need to remove yourself from something that no longer serves you and you're many of you have done that some of you have not and I think that you're not feeling like you're getting the love that you desire from whoever it is that's in your life at this time you're not feeling loved okay so with that being said I feel like that's over Okay, I feel like the wheel is spinning in your favor. Okay, I think that by the end of December, you're going to be thinking very much more positive. I feel like good fortune is on your way, whether it's financial or it's emotional. Good luck is on the way. I see that many of you are going through a renewal. You are a rebirth, a transformation. You're about to start a new phase of your life. It, it, seriously, you are. With the wheel and the world and the death card, a new phase of your life is on the horizon. So think positive, okay? Remember, your thoughts become things. This is the magician card. Your thoughts become things. Think positive, all right? Many of you have lost faith. You've lost faith. Okay, I just I, I don't lose the faith. You do have a divine connection. You do. Okay, use it to your advantage. Okay, I feel like many of you have went through a period of suffering, a period of feeling alone. All right, but I feel like whatever that suffering was, you have learned from it. It's time to complete that chapter and it's time to move on to the next one. All right. I think you should celebrate your success because I feel like you've been successful even if it hurt. Okay. You have been. There's a lot of success here. All right. Let me get the next next deck. <laughs> Whatever's been going on behind the scenes was happening for a reason. Okay. Believe that. I think that um, this one flipped over, so I have to let it come out. I feel like um, many of you, have been letting your fear, your insecurities, your suffering, your confusion, get the better of you okay you've been deceiving yourself but I think that is over it's over all right there's so much success here I see that you've learned a big lesson and in December towards the end of December especially you are about to go through a major renewal all right, I see a transformation here. And you probably are already going through it now because transformations don't happen overnight, okay? You're definitely making progress. I think many of you are following your intuition more than you ever have in your life. You're becoming more aware. You're more becoming more aware of your divine connection, and it's helping you, all right? Um... I do, we have, um, we have the Empress here, the Judgment here, Justice here, Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, and Four of Cups. Many of you are going through a spiritual awakening. Seriously, a spiritual transformation. 
So I don't know who it's for, but many of you are going through a spiritual transformation and you're confused. It's making you feel all these things that you have never felt before. Okay? That's what's going on. I feel like your intuition is really kicking in. Okay? I think you're starting to realize how beautiful your soul is. You've been doing some soul searching. I don't see much impulsiveness. I feel like you've really been through periods of contemplation. All right, You're, you've absolutely been making progress towards your transformation. You are doing the right thing for you, okay? So whatever's going on, if you are doubting yourself, don't doubt yourself because I see that you are doing the right thing for you. I think many of you have released something that was way too heavy to carry. Okay, it was way too heavy. You just didn't need it in your life anymore, so you let it go. And that brings you justice. There is karma here with these two cards, okay, and this one up here. There's karma here, and karma isn't always bad despite what people say. Okay, sometimes karma is good. All right. I believe that your prayers are being answered in the background behind the scenes so keep doing what you are doing you are going through a transformation for many of you it's a spiritual transformation and i think that where have you you felt like you were lacking or you felt that you your soul was wasn't being nourished now you are nourishing yourself all right. And I think that your courage, your strength, your confidence, your ability to surrender to the universe is really coming into play this month. All right. Um, it's beautiful. It really is. You're going through an awakening. Many of you are going through an awakening. That's what I see. Um, and, you know, generally my readings are love readings, but... You know, this is a general monthly reading, so I am intending it to be a general reading, and that is what this is. I feel like many of you have been seeking balance, and that balance is coming back to the, your life because you have been through a period of soul searching and releasing what no longer serves you. I think, you know, how what happened is you went through a period of not having faith of feeling the loss, feeling like nobody cared, feeling like you didn't care, you know, feeling like you weren't worthy, feeling insecure. And then, you know, that was one period. Then there was a shift. Then there was, the, that, that's when the wheel spins, you know, and you shift from negative to positive. And once you do that, the magician down here, once you shift to the positive, it, it comes in abundantly. That's what I see. I see, a, I see a transformation here. I really do. For the month of December. Okay. <laughs> Celebrate your success, please. Please, we have so much success here. So much. You did the right thing for you. And if you haven't, you're going to be. I think that you are going to be doing the right thing for you. And because you do, you are going to be very successful. All right? Either in a relationship, with your job, your or your life period. Okay? Ooh, perfect timing. That darn incense gets me every time. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. Oh my gosh. 
That is the perfect card for you. <laughs> it is. I see a lot of success here. The month of December, you're going through a transformation that brings you positive success in whatever this is that it relates to in your life. Okay? I think there's been a period of negativity, a period of loss, a period of feeling unloved, of discontentment that just totally shifts. Okay? So, congratulations. It looks really good. Really good for December. Towards the end of December, you're really going to be feeling it because you have to remember with the death card, or think about death, it doesn't generally happen quick generally it happens over a period of time so remember that renewal happens over a period of time okay and I think you're doing it so Gemini this is for December 2017 I see a shift from negative to positive and a whole lot of success because of it all right Love readings are the weekly readings, by the way. And if you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video. Um, but yeah, my weekly readings are love readings. Talk to you later.